Helen Lederer was a part of the The Real Full Monty, ladies' night lineup alongside the likes of Colleen Nolan, Michelle Heaton and Megan McKenna three years ago. While she loved the experience, the absolutely fabulous star claimed the stars don't relish getting their kits off but do it for a good cause. With her co-stars, the 67-year-old whipped her top off after a dance routine in front of an audience. Helen took part in the show to help raise awareness about the importance of getting checked for cancer. That was an interesting experience, she told Express. Co.uk. A lot of the jobs I've had have required the removal of clothing or reveal of body. Danny Miller talks him a celebrity sacrifice for family even when I did the Big Brother house, a lot of the housemates wandered around in their pants, so I suppose I'm used to it. She added of the full Monty, I think most people don't relish it. I mean, body image is a complicated one, isn't it? My thing is to not think about myself. I put my makeup on in the morning or wherever and then I don't look at myself for the rest of the day. I'm one of those now. But, even what I would consider the younger, beautiful ones, they didn't relish it. The comedy women in print founder said the show is a physiological reveal despite what you look like. It's a big one for everyone. It was something we all went through together though, it was quite bonding. This year's contestants proved just how uncomfortable the show could be for a number of reasons as many were left in tears last night. Patty McGuinness wife Christine got upset when she didn't want to dance alone and struggled with some of the moves. She also became overwhelmed as she discussed her autism diagnosis. Christian Horner's famous wife Jerry utterly broken behind scenes, revealed Alex Scott bids farewell to BBC show as host confirms final episode, reaction James Jordan deletes cheeky pic of wife Ola after Instagram mistake, pictured, as well as this, the celebrities had heartfelt moments after telling stories about the reason why they were there. James Jordan broke down as he recalled losing his dad to cancer back in March. Brenda Edwards also discussed finding a lump under her right breast at the end of 2015. She told The Mirror, I was so nervous it has to have been the fastest strip tease ever, but no matter how scary that experience, it's not as scary as going through cancer and chemotherapy, and maybe not even surviving at the end of it. So for the sake of those five seconds, my fears were irrelevant in the scheme of things. From January, Helen will be taking part in Proud Embankment's Cabaret All-Stars show. I am beyond excited to dust off my Spanx, tell a few stories and bring my comedy twist to this absolutely fabulous Proud Cabaret show of talent, spectacle and wonder, she spilled. The comedian will join a superstar cast of international performers from January 8 for a limited three-month run.